Hey, what's up? This is Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz, and this is my weekly video blog called Bullheaded, a review of the Houston Texans news, as well as a preview of their upcoming game matchups. So, this Sunday, the Texans, after coming off a thrilling Week 1 win against the Indianapolis Colts, the Texans will be coming home for their home opener on Sunday Night Football against the Chicago Bears and their number one draft pick at quarterback Caleb Williams. So, I'm going to get into that storyline and, and all the particulars that the Texans have to do for that game. First thing I want to do is give a game recap of um, last week's win. So, one of my first takeaways of, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my first takeaways uh, from last Sunday is the offense was as good as advertised. <laughs> um, and it's probably not a lot of surprise to everybody out there, but um Definitely a great effort on all fronts. Um, C.J. Stroud threw for 234 yards, had two touchdowns, no picks. Um, Joe Mixon ran for 159 yards um, on the day. Um, as far as the receivers go, uh, Nico Collins uh, led our receivers in receiving yards um, with 117. Uh, tied with the lead for catches with Stephon Diggs on um, both Receivers had six apiece, but Stephon Diggs actually had both of the touchdowns. Uh, Tank Dale, three catches for 40, uh, yeah, three catches for 40 yards. Um, defensively, uh, we did not do too bad. Uh, yes, um, we actually, uh, yeah, so we actually had um, two sacks uh, in this game, uh, one by, I hope I said this. All over the place. Uh, so yeah, one by Fatakasi. I'm gonna give myself two dollars if I got that right. I should have looked at that beforehand. And yes, I owe myself two dollars. Uh, <laughs> one by Fatakasi. The, the other one by Mario Edwards. Um, you know, Will Anderson, honorable mention for uh, you know, applying a, drawing a lot of double teams. And, you know, saying allowing that pressure to get through. Yes, I did watch <laughs> post-game tape this week. Uh, when I say post-game tape, I mean Twitter clips. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, big ups to that group. Um, big ups to that unit. Um, one thing I will say uh, that kind of concerned me a little bit um, was the pass protection and also our secondary uh, giving up big plays. I think it was like three separate um 50-yard receptions uh, that the um, secondary gave up. And so, you know, a lot of people try to point out, you know, outside of those receptions, you know, um, uh, outside of those receptions, Anthony Richardson didn't do all that well. And, you know, you can make that argument or whatever, but, you know, that's those big plays still kind of kept them in the game, um, so to speak. So, um, it's all about just kind of tighten that, tightening that up a little bit more. Um, the O-line, um, they gave up four sacks um, in this game. And so a lot of people, you know, they kind of said, well, they kind of hinted that, you know, Stroud had an off game. To me, it didn't look really off. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, it's pretty average, pretty concise or whatever. But um, as far as, like, the sacks go, um, I get it, you know. It's not a. I don't think not either one of those things are an issue. Um, the sacks or the you know deep uh, deep plays being given up. I don't think they're a major issue because it's just week one of the season. But um, I think it should cause for, should. I think it did cause for some type of concern, um, knowing that you know you were really really close in this game uh, because of those mistakes. And so I think. Um, you know, they found a way to handle it going forward. And so we should see what happens uh, this coming Sunday. But congratulations to the team getting their first win of the year, um, opening up the season with a win, heading into this home opener with a win. So um, this week, uh, Texans are going to be taking on Chicago Bears. As I mentioned, um, you know, both they're going to have, you know, their number one draft pick, Caleb Williams, starting against our number one, or excuse me, our first round draft pick from last season, uh, CJ Stroud. So um, that's going to be a big storyline uh, going into Sunday night, uh, just kind of seeing these two quarterbacks, 
kind of, you know, go head to head, potentially um, the future of this league, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Um, with Stroud, we've already seen what he can do um, his first season in the league. Um, with Williams, we're, you know, kind of waiting to see um, what he's got going uh, coming into the season. So it's going to be interesting. Another interesting thing that might get brought up, and I saw um, a reporter or somebody that covers the Texans kind of bring it up to as well. Um, you know, how these teams are kind of, you know, setting things up uh, for their rookie quarterbacks. And, you know, when I saw this game on the schedule, this that was one of the first things I thought, you know, how, um, you know, Chicago kind of brought in, like, all these pieces to kind of set Williams up for, like, immediate success. You know what I'm saying? They brought in a DeAndre Swift. Um, you know, they got in, a, a, I think, Montez Sweat um, from Washington last year. Um, you know, they got uh, Keenan Allen. Uh, they brought him in um, during the off season, and so you know what I'm saying. They got all these guys that that are kind of like you know really just coming in to build some sort of team up um, that'll really help Williams. Um, I'm guessing it'll help him develop. You know what I'm saying a little bit quicker as they probably seen it do with Stroud um, when before Stroud came in. You know the Texans went out. They got a lot of guys on like one year um, deals and everything like that. So. Um, you know, they went out and got a, a Dalton Schultz, you know, Devin Singletary, different um, pieces like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, they just kind of put it all together, you know, and, you know, just kind of let Stroud uh, do what he does, you know what I'm saying? So, um, going to be interesting to um, just see, like, how that all comes together for them in week two. Uh, week one, uh, not so much the greatest of output from those guys, but... Uh, week two should be very interesting. So, might as well just mosey on down in, into that segue. Uh, week two, Texans are coming home, uh, opening up, uh, excuse me, home opener um, on Sunday night football. One of the first of, the first of, you know, four, I believe, primetime games um, this year. And so, it's going to be real crazy um, in that, in that stadium, so to speak, but I'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, with the uh, with the Texans coming in uh, for the home opener um, against the opponent that's going to be kind of hyped up based off like everything that's happened like in the off season. You know what I'm saying? Them drafting Caleb Williams and then them bringing all these other pieces in. You know what I'm saying? Them coming off the hard notch series. You know, um, a lot of eyes are going to be on the Chicago Bears, um, and a lot of eyes are definitely going to be on the Houston Texans to see like. You know, if the hype is really real, you know. So, the Texans have to embrace that. And they are going to embrace that, as they have been saying that they've been doing. And so, to embrace that means to win the game. So, here's the few things that they need to do uh, to win the game this week. So, first things first, the pra mm, excuse me, the pass protection, it must improve. So, the four sacks game, I, I get it. You know, I can shoot bail for that. You know what I'm saying? That's week one. Everybody's kind of like getting back into things a little bit. And, you know, maybe communication was off, you know. And to Indianapolis' credit, they were running some pretty neat stunts. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, communication could have been off on, like, what to pick up and who to pick up. But um, whatever it is, it needs to be worked on because you cannot give up four sacks and, <laughs> and expect to win every game. You just cannot do that. Um I need to highlight these. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but it must improve. Um, it's going to be crucial against this Bears pass rush. This, listen, the Bears, they they had a tell of two halves uh, for the most part. Uh, yeah, last week they had a tell of two halves. They entered the second, the first, they ended the first half of their game, set down 17-3, uh, came back out, you know what I'm saying, and just shut the Titans down. Um 21 nothing. So they scored 21 straight points. And the kicker here, ironically, I'm saying kicker because there was no offensive touchdowns. Um, there was no offensive touchdowns. Um, I think the first touchdown was by Jonathan Owens, former Houston, Texas legend, Jonathan Owens. Um, he had a punt, he blocked a punt uh, or recovered a blocked punt uh, for a touchdown. Um, let me see who's the other dude that scored. Uh, I can find it. Uh, 
yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? They, then uh, Will Levis threw a pick six um, in the fourth quarter. So, that put them up. And they got the two-point conversion off of that. So, it's <laughs> – they, uh, they had an interesting game last week. Now, mind you, the Titans are the Tennessee Titans. You know, they're nowhere um, – you know, they're, they're a team that the Bears could get away with that. You know what I'm saying? They can get over on with, with the Titans. You know what I'm saying? Um, they can't do that to us. We, <laughs> um, we're not that uh, – we're not them. We we got a little bit more expectations up on us. So, um, it's definitely going to be um, – yeah, so it's definitely going to be um, and very important that uh, we just kind of um, – you know, it's going to be very important that we just protect uh, Stroud. And another reason to protect him, um, he needs time to deliver the ball. So not only do we need to protect him against a Bears pass rush that, you know, they feel very confident about what the work they did last week, considering it, their work won them the game. Um, you know what I'm saying? We need to let time, get Stroud time to deliver the ball um, down the field because we're still working through this offense. Yes, Nico Collins had a big game last week, but Nico Collins is not going to be the focus point um, of this offense going forward. You know what I'm saying? He's just not. You know what I'm saying? If anybody's going to be the focal point, it'll more than likely be Stephon Diggs. You know what I'm saying? You know, just you know the high-profile name, the veteran coming in and all that, but it doesn't appear that this offense is going to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, solely focused on one receiver. Um, so... He's going to be multiple receivers, multiple leads. It's going to take him time to, like, find each of those guys. So it's going to be very important that he has all the protection and time that he has. All right. So uh, on the flip side of things, take away the weapons of the Chicago Bears. So last week, Williams didn't have a strong – he just didn't have a strong showing. He threw for – he finished the game with under 93 passing yards. Excuse me. With 93 passing yards. Under 100 passing yards. Um and it's like, that's not really going to cut it. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? For him, he's a talented offensive individual, you know, and he just, and he's going to figure it out. Not trying to toot his own horn because that's the ops this week. But objectively speaking, um, he's talented. Um, he's, you know what I'm saying? He's, he did his thing in college, you know? And so it's the reason that they drafted him number one. And that reason is not for him to throw. 93 yards, and I'm pretty sure they're drilling that message into him this week. So when he steps on the field um, in Houston, that he's going to try to look for those weapons that they brought in. He's going to look for a Keenan Allen. Um, he's going to look for a DJ Moore. Um, you know, so, oh, psh, Roma Dunze. <laughs> I forgot they had a uh, they had a whole other, you know, first-round draft pick in Roma Dunze. Um, so, yeah, he's going to look for him. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? He's going to look to, like, get the ball down the field. And that's, you know what I'm saying? That's when we got to just come in and just kind of take those guys away, take them out of the game. Um, you know what I'm saying? Change the coverages on him. He's a rookie quarterback. He's still learning. So give him something to learn about. You know what I'm saying? So um, that that's definitely for sure. Take away his weapons. Um, you know, as he's looking at, like, kind of redeem uh, – his debut efforts in a way. Uh, third and final thing, bring the energy for the crowd, man. Like, I know there was a lot of talk. Yeah. So I know there was a lot of talk uh, about, like, the fans kind of, I guess they come late to the game or whatever. Uh, this is what I say about that. Um, meet them with the hype. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Houston going to play it like, LA where they're just nonchalant about a football game, you know what I'm saying? Like I Houston legitimately loves football. <laughs> it's in Texas, you know what I'm saying? But I would say just meet them with the hype. You know what I'm saying? Get them in the into the game early and often. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna be home opener, it's gonna be prime time, all types of excitement, you know what I'm saying, going on. So just embrace that excitement with the fans and get them into the game. And, you know what I'm saying, feed off that energy. You know, feed off that energy to go make a big play and things like that. So uh, definitely um, do that. <laughs> so um, that's all I got for y'all this week. Um, if you're watching, so just to go over everything, um, 
Ooh, this is too light for me. Okay, so just to go over everything, um, for the Texans to win, pass protection must improve from last week. Um, they, they have to allow t Stroud time to, to, deliver, uh, to deliver the ball to one of the receivers. Um, Williams, uh, excuse me, take away the weapons um, of the Chicago Bears. What, Caleb Williams is going to look to bounce back. Uh, from his own underwhelming uh, week one performance, just take those guys out of the picture. Um, you know, cover them up as much as you can, um, and bring the energy for the crowd. You know, um, you know, what I'm saying just y'all look. It's a <laughs> bring the energy. You know, what I'm saying like meet them with the hype. Just do it so they can get involved and make you know, what I'm saying make noise when needed. Um, you know, what I'm saying just get them like hyped and involved into the game and make. You know what I'm saying? Make the opponent like really feel the pressure. So, um, so yeah, that's all I have for y'all this week. This time, um, if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, like my page, like this video, share this video, um, like my page, Brandon Facebook.com/slash Brandon Blog. If you're watching this on YouTube, like the video and click the, uh, click the subscribe button um, on this video. So. Um, that's all I got for y'all this week. I'm Brandon Simmons from BrandonSimmons.biz. Holla Black.